Okay, this short video is going to show you some pointers on creating your new signature. So what you need to do is you're going to click the settings icon. And then when you do that, you're going to scroll down. You're going to scroll and scroll and scroll. And what you're going to look for is you're going to see, you'll, you'll see your profile picture. And then right below that, it's going to say create new. That's what you're going to look for. So you click the settings icon. And then you selected see all settings. And then you scroll down until you see create new and you click on this. So once you click on this, you're going to get a box that looks like this and you'll type in. Normally, you'll probably type in your name. This is important. This box is not your signature. This box is the name of your signature because you might want to have a signature for teachers and a signature for friends and maybe a signature for mom and dad. So you could name your signature, signature one, signature two, whatever you wanted to name it. This is not your signature. What you'll do is you'll type in a name and you'll click create. Then you're going to get the text box, the text editor. And this text editor is where you'll actually put your signature. And so I did mine and I added the same color. I didn't change that. I could if I wanted to. Um, I did change the font size and I added some bullet points to show the things that I teach. So you can make this individualized really however you want. You can change the font, font size, the color. You can even add images, whatever you want. Of course, it's got to be school appropriate and somewhat professional, but you definitely have some latitude with that. Now, this is also very important. Before you're done, once you got this finished, you must look just below this box and you'll see two boxes. One says, let's well, select default signatures. One says for new messages. The other says for replies and forwards. They probably say no signature, which means that your signature will not show up anywhere. You need to select these. So I would select this and I would choose the signature that I just made. So let's say you made the signature your name, if, I, if that's what you named it. I would click this and I would select that. Once you do it, you'll see what I mean. And um, definitely want to do it for both of these. So if I left mine like this, I, my signature would not show up. Now I'm still not done. Then I have to scroll to the very bottom of the screen, which I don't have access to because I don't have a Chromebook. But if you scroll to the very bottom, it's kind of like a white box with black lettering that says save changes. If you click that, then your signature will show up on your emails.